Hey guys, so I've had these Tony and Guy Afro straighteners for about four years now and I think it's about time that I re actually review this product, tell you exactly what I think about it and tell you why I would recommend it, whether I would recommend it and I'll just explain a few pieces about this. So this is basically directed at black people because it says Afro and it's obviously got a black woman at the front with straight hair so it's, it's more for the black you know hair community or whatever you want to say so when i was um watching because i watch a lot of reviews on straighteners and stuff and although i'm not really into straight hair you know how i do like i love my texturized hair i love the way it's the best of both worlds i can have rock the kinky look if i like and i can rock the straight look if i like but i really love to stay away from heat because my i know my hair doesn't like it i pay attention to reviews on straighteners and people usually say ceramic plates are good and having a swivel cord is good as well so I'm going to explain that further so it says it's got floating ceramic plates ionic moisture lock technology variable temperature control ionic moisture retention it says with ionic technology to help sustain maximum levels of moisture and reduce breakage these hair smooth shiny glossy and manageable however true that may be I just don't believe that like there's any like heat is heat basically if you're gonna put hair on your heat use the right precautions don't really listen to all these you know obviously marketing and all that they're gonna say what they're gonna say but you need to take the right precautions look after your hair and then everything will fall into place once you're ready to straighten your hair it's got a fast heat up for instant styling a thumb grip for controlled and comfortable styling five temperature settings three meter swivel cord with a hang up loop, LED on and off indicator, advanced ceramic heater for consistent heat while styling, a floating 25 millimeter ceramic plates with ionic technology provides professional surface for static freestyling. I think um, ceramic plates help just kind of coat the plates because if it's if you're if the ceramic part starts peeling off and you, you continue to use a straightener, it will damage your hair because it's not protecting the plates. Combining ionic moisture lock technology to hydrate and protect against dryness but with sufficient heat control to create straight or curled styling with minimum damage. It says it's suitable for all hair types of afro hair texture including naturally curly, thick and brittle pro. I've used it on my sister's natural hair. You guys have seen how my sister's natural hair looks. They're in the full category about 4B let's say 4B. Stick to 4B because I'm not sure. So I'm going to actually show you the item and you need to be careful when you're straightening your hair because if you have thick hair and you put in a big section it will get caught in the edges and will snap and break your hair off and I can see that this is beginning to get old because you can see that there's some kind of gap there so you just have to be careful and know when to change your straighteners because and when I use these as well I obviously use small section it doesn't take much to get my hair straight once my hair is blow dried I just need to go over it once and it's straight but I just go over it twice obviously just for precision this is the swivel cord that I was talking about when you're styling your hair you don't want it to be fixated because you want it to be able to move around if you're doing like a curl or something you just want it to move with you for ease of styling so it goes up to 200 celsius as it said and I don't really think that that is hot at all because it just isn't that hot to me anyway um I like this as well because you know it when you're doing your hair you can't really touch it and change the temperature because that's all like compacted in there so when you're doing your hair you're just doing your hair so overall I think these are good straighteners um, they worked well for my hair my as for my sisters here's the thing um, you know how natural hair is hard to straighten the ends and that's what I found with these straighteners it's not that I don't know whether extra heat would have helped it. I tried to use the technique of like combing it down, the, the chase method of when you have a comb and you, you know, chase with a straightener and comb the ends. And it's harder to get their ends straightened. So I don't know whether that's, you know, that could be one a con. But overall, I really like this straightener and I would recommend. If you want something that's reasonably priced, then this is the one to go for because it's, it's I think it's about up to 20 pounds or under 20 pounds you don't really need to go and spend your money on the izanami or whatever i mean i don't see the point of doing that because i only straighten my hair once a year and i don't really like straight hair on me anyway because i just don't like the look anymore well these ones try amazon ebay 
you know it's decently priced and it does the job it's just a simple simple straighteners I'm thinking though I might get the um, what's it called the in stylus for my next straightening um, process and that's going to be in September and it will be a year from like last year when I did it in September as well so I really look forward to that I may not get them though don't count me on that because they are quite expensive the in stylus and do some research on them guys but I just like the way that it has the swivel round um, thing and then the brush as well I just think that's really cool but yeah guys that was my review on these straighteners just a brief one I hope you enjoyed and got something from this video and I'll speak to you soon God bless bye if you want something that's reasonably polite reasonably if you want something that's reasonably If you want something that's reasonably priced, then you need to make, well, what's wrong with me? <laughs>